I think my greatest accomplishment is being able to go to a skate park and just having people stop and watch and being like, I've never seen a rollerblader before. I didn't know people could do that. You know, when a whole generation doesn't see rollerblading on TV in 20 years, they're blown away. They can't believe we can skate that fast, we can use all the ramps, we have this big bag of tricks. It's much more impressive and cool than all the skateboarders of the 90s would have led you to believe. You know, we were challenging what they were doing and they didn't like it. Got mail on the trumpet. Q on the percussion, smell in the yeah. Q band. Oh, uh. oh, uh. uh. got me back in effect. What up, Monica? I probably started blading in the early 90s and it was when rollerblades became mass available at any department store and this would have been a real rinky dinky cheap pair Wayne Gretzky ultra wheels something that I could play hockey in front of my house with and then in the early 90s Hollywood movie called Airborne Airborne was kind of the next step or phase of blading. This showed the general public um, another side of blading that it wasn't just for hockey cross training. Now we could, we could use them in a skate park or do aerial maneuvers or slide on a rail. And then after that would have been the explosion of aggressive. <laughs> Welcome back everyone to San Francisco. We're just below the Bay Bridge, pier side at the The first line. few X Games contests where Inline was featured uh, in the street event and the half pipe event, so there were two separate Inline events. I think back in those days there was even a downhill race. So maybe even three events. So in the mid 90s, and early 2000s, rollerblading really had its heyday. It became one of the fastest growing sports of all time, globally, and was very big here in North America. Uh, it wasn't until years later where I saw the X Games on TV one summer and saw that guys were jumping down stairs and hitting ramps with their blades. Something that wasn't even on my radar until, you know, it took someone, someone watching someone do it before realizing that it was possible. So a lot of ways for the world to see blading. And then when rollerblading got dropped from the X Games, that's really when we went into our dark phase. So part of blading being dropped from the X Games was this hit on inline skating, that it wasn't cool, it was easy, it was something for little girls or old people or gay people. Skateboarding was on a mission to 
demean and downgrade blading. The times weren't as politically correct. People could get away with a lot more bullying and kind of the online presence wasn't there yet. Basically, once it got dropped from the X Games, kids like me didn't get that exposure in their youth, that taste for you know, the daring adventure, that kind of inexplicable appealingness to it. But uh, you know, if you don't see it, you don't know and you don't get inspired. So we lost a whole generation of skaters from not having it in the X Games. The sport kind of died. It's not like skateboarding where everybody does it, there's all these stores, everyone even wears the clothes as just a fashion trend. You know, it's kind of where the term poser came from, you know, like looking the part but not playing it. You know, if anything, bladers are more punk or hardcore than, than the rest of the crowd because we're taking flack for doing what we just simply love. <laughs> Sometimes it was pretty hard to get motivated to skate if you didn't have anyone to do it with or a place to do it or the place to do it you'd get some serious flack for doing it um, but in the end it really led to the relationships and the camaraderie and the brotherhood I have with my fellow skaters today. The passion that a lot of these guys have is is unlike anything else. There's really little monetary gain or fame um, from anything related to rollerblading. So you're really only doing it for the love of the sport and your own self-pleasure. But for that reason, like the intrinsic rewards are so powerful, it keeps people compelled, you know, to, to make this a sport for life.
known a lot of these guys for 20 plus years. They're my best friends. You know, they're the family. Friends are the family you choose. And if it wasn't for blading, I wouldn't have so many amazing people around me. I embrace motion and artistic human movement and gravity and speed and adrenaline and I don't think there's anything wrong with that.